Yo, y'all already know it's cool, Kamar, cool K, and we back with another video. Y'all already know. Look, I've never been too ingrained into the podcast community. I'll be honest. I listen to maybe like three podcasts. Shits and gigs, they're funny as hell. The light skin and the white brother. Those two guys, I listen to those guys. Those guys are funny. Um, I think it's, you should know. Back when Impulsive was like big, I used to watch like Impulsive sometimes. But other than that, I've never been too involved in the podcast community. But recently, my TikTok has been men versus woman podcast. Crazy male opinions, crazy female hot takes. So what we're going to do today? is we gonna see who's winning this podcast game i'm gonna search up men versus woman podcast on tiktok we're gonna see who's, who's up right now men versus woman podcast and sometimes you gotta deal with the consequences no guy wants to pay full price for a car with a for sale sign can i be honest i have no idea what the fuck you're talking about <laughs> and that might just be my small brain um this guy just don't miss wow true i can see these girls really hearing and i can tell they're listening i hope 2024 we get better i think he's talking about like yeah it's like posting like promiscuous photos online i get it right like you don't want your girl half naked but if you're, if you're saying saying it's a for sale sign like they're that's how they present themselves if the if you're gonna go for somebody who's posting that stuff online you can't be mad at them when they keep posting that stuff online because that's who they are that's what they've been doing i make youtube videos if you if someone comes to me and they wants to talk to me and they know i make youtube videos and they get mad when i keep making youtube videos that'll make no sense i feel like if you don't want someone who's posting promiscuous stuff online who's acting like that online don't go for someone who's posting stuff like that online. Men don't need women. Women need men. Men could survive without women. If all the women disappeared tomorrow, men would be fine outside of reproduction. If tomorrow they made artificial wombs, what would they need a woman for? So men built the world. All the hard jobs are done by men. Mm -hmm. If men disappear tomorrow, the society would collapse. Friendly fire is on. Wow, friendly fire is on. I agree. I think I think I could survive. It wouldn't be a happy life. I love coochie. I love coochie a lot. I wouldn't be living happily, but... I don't know about don't need women though. I think we're pushing it. I think we might be pushing it a little bit, but if it's a woman saying it, why am I? You know what I mean? Like, if, if this is y'all opinion, keep that opinion, I guess. Men don't care about women's money. We don't care about women's competence. We don't care about women's height. We don't care about all the things that you care about in the man. Attraction is. Who the fuck is we? Who the fuck is we? Come on, we don't care about women's money. Shorty, if you got bread, come here. Come upon me. Come upon me if you got bread. What are we talking about? We don't care about women's bread. We don't care. Yes, we do. Also, competence? Yes, the hell we do. Why would we not care about a woman's competence? Yes. Let me just... Competence. Just, just so I know I'm using the word properly. Do they do something successfully or efficiently? Yeah. Why are we... Why do we... <laughs> we care about a woman's competence. We don't want an incompetent person. Like, you don't want to be around incompetent people at all. Why, what do you mean we don't care about a woman's competence? Yes, you do. Listen, a guy can wake up in the morning with ripped pants... <laughs> Ripped boxers. Ripped boxers. <laughs> trim jiggy jiggy jagger. <laughs> and no one's gonna say nothing. But because I wanna wear a bonnet, I'm ghetto. I'm ghetto and people have something to say. Yeah. These times, man, them, they crawl out of bed in the morning. They don't bath. I know some of them don't bath. Don't come into my comments and talk shit. Don't change their bed sheets. They don't change their bed sheet. Hmm. What I will say about this one is, it's the girls that are putting their standards on the girls. If I seen a girl outside with a bonnet, I'm not gonna be like, brother, why you end up bonnet? Like, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm saying, okay, she looks comfortable. Again, I want my bonnet to go to the grocery store sometimes because I'm comfortable. You can't be mad that you're putting standards on yourself and that men are not putting these standards on themselves. Bro, you don't know what, what did Drake say? Sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. That's when you look prettiest. I hope that you don't take it for real. I can't talk for every man in the world, but I personally mean it. Who has it easier in society, men or women? Ooh. Definitely men because they get paid more and they also don't have to deal with sexual harassment in the streets. And if they want... Question, because I don't know too much about this. Is the pay gap real? I'm seeing mixed signals. Because if it is, 75 cents to a dollar is modest. What I heard, it's based on like an overall income. Men are making this much, women are making this much. And then someone said, oh, well, it's because men are making more dangerous jobs. And then someone else said, it's because, oh, these dangerous jobs wouldn't hire women. And then someone else said, yeah, but women also don't want to work. So I have no idea what this pay gap is. And so can someone give me like a, a deep breakdown? I feel like I need more information if I want to comment on it. It's out there. Okay, so since you believe that, would you be willing to switch gender roles with a man? No, because I like being a woman. <laughs> Woo! Would you, would you switch gender roles with a woman? My lord and savior came down right now and said, yo, or I'll let you switch teams when I switch teams. Switching right away. Oh my god, I'll be shaking my ass on a yacht. Pause, I'll be shaking ass on a yacht. Why should men be expected to bring more to the table than they ever have in order to please women who bring less to the table than they ever have? Because the man is the provider, baby. 
Why are women typically spoiled beyond their needs while men are typically deprived of their basic needs? Because <laughs> women deserve more. <laughs> okay, because women deserve more is a, is a is definitely a take. That's definitely something that a real human being has said. But as we've seen, not every human being is competent. The word of the day, boy, is competent. If you mess with somebody, if you take somebody home from the club, yeah. before you do something with them, you're like, are you in a relationship? You ask that question. As a guy, you... no. Okay. No. no. I have this really bad opinion on relationships. I have a really bad opinion, and you guys are going to hate me for this opinion. I'm going to say it, and we're going to get past it. A relationship is between two people. Two people have a contract saying that we will be faithful to each other. I will love you, you will love me, and that's how it's gonna work. If me an outsider, I'm not part of this contract. I'm not part of this bond. And I say, oh my God, you're cute. And she's like, oh, let me do stuff with you. And she breaks the bond. That broken bond has nothing to do with me. I did not make a deal with any of you guys that I'm gonna be faithful. I'm single for a reason. If you break your contract, that's on you. And that's why those videos are like, oh, girl cheating with this guy. The guy beats up the guy who she was cheating with. That shit makes no sense to me. That nigga was not in your relationship. He didn't break anything. He didn't break any promise. Your girl did. I'm not saying beat your girl. I'm not saying beat. I'm not guys. I'm not saying beat your girl. But it's not his fault that your girl cheated. Would you describe yourself as a feminist? Yes. Do you believe in gender equality? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay, so. <laughs> How do you reconcile believing in gender equality, but also holding men to their traditional gender roles of paying for the first date? Well, I'm, I'm just saying that's my personal view. A woman can, being a feminist is just doing whatever you want to do and not being bashed by society for that. Well, I'm just asking you, you said that men should pay immediately, right? Yeah. So my question is, if you believe in gender equality, don't you think you ought to split the bill on the first date? Um, no, because my main concern with gender equality is through, like, yes, in society, like, fixing that and through, like, the system. But, yeah, I don't... Here's my problem with these podcasts. They handpick the dumbest woman to prove their points. Like, there's definitely a girl out here who could explain why they're, they, they're feminist and believe in equality, but they also feel this. A lot of very well-spoken women, a lot of very strong, independent women who could explain that a lot better than this woman did. But they handpick their people to find the people that will crumble under the pressure. And that's why that bitch sounded so dumb. Not because what she was saying was um, I disagree with her, but because they handpicked someone who they knew was not going to be able to articulate their thoughts. And now every woman who's a feminist who still says they want the guy to pay, every one of them looks dumb. Because the one who's on this video that is 615,000 views made them all look stupid. And it's a smart thing to do. Because guess what? What we're doing is we're elevating you and we're Pause. growing you in a, in a way that you could not even imagine. Oh, and then when my they got so, and that's a so fact. The very last man. Three and a half years. When you met him, was he a millionaire? No. But problems, attitude, and taint tarnished and zesty coochie. <laughs> By the God. Sorry, I, I didn't listen to a single word outside here. Tarnished and zesty cooch. Here's my top ones that I found for girl math. If you pay cash. Oh my God, my biggest pet peeve is girl math. I had this group of girls who, was our, girls who I was friends with. And I was arguing with them about girl math. For the guys who don't know, girls don't think about money the same way guys think about money. You know, it processes in our brain differently. If they pay for something in cash, they didn't spend money. If they have money in cash and they spend that money in cash, they didn't spend money. What? Excuse me? If they buy a $5 lottery ticket and they win $5, they made $5 that day. I'm not joking. These are genuine conversations I've had with real human beings. They didn't break even. They didn't spend $5, make $5, and just come back to come back to where they were. They made $5 that day. That was a good day. Huh? Back on tomorrow? Excuse that. I have never understood something less in my life than a girl math. Here's my top ones that I found for girl math. If you pay cash, it's free. Guys, it could be literally 250. It could be a thousand dollars if I paid it in cash. You know what my mom always <laughs> Sorry. Oof. I didn't mean to I didn't mean to I didn't I I Sorry. She says she's like, you should pay things, you should take out money for the week or whatever and like paying cash because Alessia, you don't feel it. You're swiping left and right and you're gonna actually feel it when you're paying it cash. I'm like I actually think it's the other way around. It is the other way around. <laughs> Thinking of swiping, Apple Pay, it's free. If I don't spend any money to... Brother, how do you spend money in cash and it's free, but you pay with your card and it's free? What are we talking? 
and spend money you can catch. Three. Makes no sense, but okay, we're past there. But, however, if you also spend money on the card, I will pay. It's also free. So you just never spend money. It's just your wallet is just infinite. It just keeps coming. It's co Actually, when I eat a salad today, I'm like, well, tomorrow I'm going to have McDonald's. <laughs> I, I personally understand that one. That was interesting. Um, We learned a lot about women and men today. I don't think I can ever get into that podcast culture. I feel like there's so much hate. I feel like we should all just love each other, which sounds so corny. I know that sounds super corny. Let me know if I'm bugging, but I just feel like it's so e it's so much easier to show love. Instead. But you already know he's cool from my cool K. Um, and yeah, I'm going to catch you on the next one.